Oh, g'day all. Um, I've got this uh, Verada here and I've got a fellow that wants to buy that tow bar there. So I need to pull the rear bumper bar off, so I'm going to do that today and have a look to see if that um, tow bar will suit his needs. So, pull one of these bumper bars off. It's fairly simplematic. Simple? Simplematic, that's an interesting word. I just made a new word. Um, so to do that, this, this panel in here needs to come up first and it's got some clips under here and I've already unclipped this one. This is the first one I've had so far. Well those clips are all in one piece so I'm going to use that on my car because mine is broken and that falls off all the time. So that's cool. Um, so these have a number of bolts. Let's see if I can get my torch. There it is over here. Um, so they've got a number of bolts on the inside um, behind that carpet there. So there's so you can see it. There it is there, bolt there, uh, up inside of there, and I believe that way, way, way back up in here. Oh, oh, can't feel it, so there isn't one there. And there is some down in here, and down in behind this carpet here as well. And then there's some inside of here too that need to come out. And if we look underneath, and there's a clip there, one on the other side, a couple of, um, where, where is it, oh, looking, a little clip there, clip there, and to get the tow bar off that, that muffler needs to drop down, but that's okay because I want to mess around with um, trialling a little exhaust experiment as well. Anyway, I'm going to get on with it. So, I'll turn the camera off, I'm not going to film me unbolting everything. Yeah, original CD stacker. Not connected to anything anymore though. But I'm gonna get on with it. Okay, so I've got it unbolted now. So there were in here there was one, two bolts there. This one broke off on me, which is unusual. Um, and then there's in back in here, which is a bit dark, I know, but there's one way, way back in here, and uh, one down in here, and then there's one, two, three, four there. And then same on the other side. What I forgot to mention, what I've forgotten altogether, is I've got to pull the little inner guard off here. And there's a bolt in underneath there that holds the bumper off there. Anyway, I'm going to put you down so elegantly. And I'm going to see if I can pull that off nice and elegant like. See how we go. Hmm, it's seen this bar has a couple more clips in there, I think I'm going to take off. Turn the camera off and have a look. <coughs> Alright, well I found four more clips under there. Was it four? No, it was five. Anyway, got them out. And so here we go. So that was a little experience for me. I've usually done um, taken off bars off like TJ Magnus, like 2000 to 2002, and they don't have those five, oh, there's one broken there. Um, they don't have those tabs on there, so they're just little plastic clips on there, but they're boy, they want to fight me all the way. That was a little bit problematic. So, an interesting thing about the Verada. Got this little uh, foam bar in there, and it also has on there this little aluminium crash bar. Whereas the TJ just has a 
to the standard mode, there seems to have just a metal bar that's part comes off as part of the main bar. So a little bit of difference there. Okay, there you go. Uh, so now we're going to try and get that tow bar off. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a look under here. So the tow bar on this, this is a '97, has bolt there, 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 and. This one doesn't have uh, that there's holding the bar on. And then on the other side, you've got the exhaust in the way of all that. So therefore, you need to take the exhaust down off its hangers. So we've got a hanger on that side and one on the other side here. And we've got in here, we've got an exhaust hanger there and there. They need to drop down and if the exhaust is still a pain, then we undo that connection there to, to take it off completely. Um, once the exhaust is out of the way, this heat shield that's here also needs to get out of the way to get those. This is a little bit of an involved job. I'm going to get that done and uh, see how I go from there. So there we go, tow bars out. I ended up taking the muffler out too because oh, it's easier and I don't need to put it back in. Pretty big muffler. Look at that. Couple of holes. Good for scrap metal, I say. Anyway, the tow bar. This one here. It's got a bolt hole there. One in the side there, and one in the side there. So that's with a uh, Verada, and or Domante is the same. Um, this one here has just got a bolt hole in there. It's a little bit different. I've had one that had a plate that come right across here and two bolt holes through there. So there you go, pretty simple. That's a 1500 kilo rated bar. Job done. See ya. Well it just dawned on me because my brain obviously didn't want to work before that as this bar here I've unbolted this out of the chassis and the whole inner bar comes out with the bar well, guess what I could have done here? I could have unbolted this whole aluminium inner bar as well and left these silly little plastic clips on that gave me all sorts of difficulty. And I could have taken the whole bar out with that aluminium inner bar. Oh well. New, uh, new things learned all the time. So that's the difference between a Verada bar and a standard Magna bar. Rada's longer and has the aluminium in a bar and the Rada has the, I mean the Magna has the standard steel one. Steel, Magna, aluminium in a bar, Rada. So I decided to move on and do a few more things. Um, so I pulled the boot off, uh, pulled the tail lights out, Boot seal out. I also pulled the harness out, the wiring harness out for the tail lights. The tail lights are pretty easy. They are just one, two, three bolts and the connection. And that's it, they're out. So for taking things off this car, that's the rear end done. Um, ready to ready to start doing uh, the front end. I'm really looking forward to taking those headlights out. I want them for my car. See you later.